So ABIT is an acronym and it stands for Advancement Via Individual Determination and it's a nationwide curriculum. AVID is a college prep class that takes place at Cromont High School and high schools all over the country. The AVID journey could start as soon as 7th grade. So AVID in middle school started out as for kids who were in the middle because said the kids who were lower were getting a lot of services and kids who were really high were getting a lot of services and kids in the middle who absolutely should go to college um, have the you know have the uh, educational background to go to college etc but just need help getting there and so that's what Abbott was for is for those kids in the middle to help them just keep on the college path whether that helped them with studying for tests or organize, organization, things like that. Sometimes in seventh grade, some people say seventh grade so early to start teaching skills like that. And seventh graders may not always get it, why the purpose of a tutorial or why the purpose of a really strong study group. So I think it is helping them with high school and it's also helping them to go beyond high school. So at Carlmont, I think it looks relatively similar at every school, but at our school, the goal is, especially in ninth and 10th grade, to help kids develop the um, skills that they'll need to be successful throughout high school. So like note taking, how to study, how to talk to your teachers. And then as we move into kind of end of 10th, 11th and 12th grade, it's definitely more focused on getting ready to take the SAT and the ACT, getting ready to apply to colleges, how to establish yourself as like a different or you know, standout applicant for a university. So our goal, our primary goal is that every student will, if not attend a four-year college, at least be eligible to do so if they decide that that's the right thing for them. So many of our students are first-generation college goers. So they're students who know that they want to attend college, um, who oftentimes have the full support of their parents, but whose parents have not attended college themselves. So they need a little help negotiating kind of that navigating through that process um, because it can be so complicated um, and then I would say the average avid student in terms of like personality and behaviors is a student who is dedicated and really kind of intrinsically motivated to want to do well but needs a little bit of extra support and guidance um, with just their kind of daily classes but also thinking like on their four-year plan of what they need to do to get to college. The individual determination is key to be successful in AVID because you have to want to participate in the program. And so that means wanting to take Cornell notes and wanting to participate in tutorial. And so really the individual determination, the high school student that is an AVID is extremely motivated. Um, things don't necessarily come easy to the student, but they're willing to put in the hard work and effort to be able to be successful. Two significant aspects of AVID are tutorials, which are student-held study groups, and Cornell Notes, which are a style of note-taking that helps guide learning in college. I let students come down during AVID class if they need anything. They can also drop in and see me. And I do a lot of college stuff, particularly senior year. Um, so senior year, basically at the beginning of the school year, I was in one of the two senior classes like every other day kind of thing. Um, we also have after school college workshops. Um, I make sure that I'm checking all of their college applications before they send them in. Um, just really walking everyone through the whole process. Um, it's really fun, you know, I, I don't why I do my job, you know. Um, so senior year is a, a stressful year, but it's a really fun year, and I think the students do feel supported because they've got so much help with their college applications and scholarships, financial aid, things like that. Um, I write a lot of letters of recommendation for the students too, so yeah, that's fun. DePauli also explains how college admissions view the AVID course. They're looking at students globally. They have 14 different criteria, and I would say that AVID most likely is definitely one of the things that they're looking at. They look at um, what did you, what was offered at your school, and what did you take advantage of. And since AVID is a nationwide, well-known program, they know that students have to be really dedicated to be in the program. So, what is the success rate of AVID students going to college? DePauli broke down the data of how AVID students do after high school. 
probably last year it was probably about 90 percent um, if i had to guess we've uh, gone up to some years 100 percent you know are eligible that doesn't necessarily mean they all go to a four-year college but they were eligible to to go if they wanted to i would say at carlmont probably anywhere from 90 to 100 percent throughout the many many years i've been doing this this is dakota Dakota is a former AVID student who currently studies at the University of Miami. He believes that AVID helped him on his journey to a four-year college. I can't even like this. It, it was, I wouldn't even say it's health, it was more of like it's everything. It was like literally, if I wasn't an AVID, I don't know what I would do about college applications and SAT prep and whatnot. Because there was like a great schedule where it's like, okay, this week we're doing this, you're going to be doing SAT prep, like your next week we're going to be doing ACT, next week you're going to be writing all your um, personal statements and stuff. So it was great because I feel like I didn't really, when I wasn't an AVID, I felt kind of scared. I always felt like I wasn't going to be able to maybe figure out all the college apps out by myself. Then after joining it, I was so relieving because they really help you out schedule your whole, you know, what you're going to need to be doing to get to, get to where you want to be. And that's for me, it worked out perfectly. High school is really cool because, you know, you kind of grow up around all these kids, um, you know, at least for me, I was, when you go from like middle school to high school, you kind of have your, you know, all these people you know, um, and you know, like you go to class every day in high school, um, all your teachers are very, very personal, um, you know, so when I got to college, it was kind of a shock because it's completely different from that. Um, you don't know, at least for me, I didn't know anyone coming here. I was the only person from my high school to go here. So you meet a ton of new people, which is crazy because in high school, you kind of, every day you go to school, you see the same faces. Here, every single day you come to campus, you see a million new people. In terms of classes, it's kind of also different because when you come to college, you know, you're paying to come here. You have to do right by yourself, you know, your teachers aren't going to come after you like, hey, we have a test tomorrow, hey, we have a like a quiz next week. That was like one of some of the main differences between high school and college. AVID really helped me because it, we started a lot of like discussions about what you want out of a college. And that's kind of related into how I chose Miami. Because um, I knew I wanted to be somewhere by the beach. I knew I wanted to be somewhere that had good sports program, um, had good academics. So when we learned about all those things about myself in AVID, it worked out perfectly because I, I could not have made a better decision I feel like. I'm so happy here. With college being the main goal for the AVID program, many students understand that college isn't for everyone, and AVID helps students be successful with whatever they want to pursue in life. I think the kids that are in AVID really do want to go to college, that's the thing, and they're like, this will help me. Uh, I know I need maybe some help in this area, or even they just like the idea of being with the same kids who all have that same goal, like a club, right? That we're all focusing on this. I believe that every student can benefit from some type of post-secondary education. So whether that's a trade school, a two-year college, a four-year college, something. Just in this economy, and particularly in this area, it's nearly impossible to earn a livable wage uh, with just a high school diploma. And so I think that students um, by their senior year should pick whatever the best fit is, but I definitely think that there should be some sort of education after high school. I don't think you have to go to college to become successful, but you definitely need to have a, the drive and uh, hard working skills to make it through life. Honestly, in middle school, like my one goal was to go to like a university and get like a good job. Now, honestly, there's like way more other life choices I can make. I could go to a JC, I could go into the trades. There's so many other options for me. Like it's not just revolved around going to college. I want to be successful somehow, but I want to be happy and successful, you know. I think there's different routes for each individual and, you know, someone could be really good at school, but someone can also, like, maybe school's not for them and they find their own path as an entrepreneur or something. We're on the route to go to college, but if you don't go to college, nobody's going to like ridicule you or be like, oh my god, why are you not going to college? Like, it's fine whatever you do, but AVID helps you be successful in whatever you do. Not only does the AVID program help students with their studies, but students also find a sense of community in their AVID classes. You know, high school is challenging, and the process of applying to colleges is challenging. And I think that, you know, looking back at high school, I would have really appreciated any little bit of extra help that I could get going through that process, whether that's help applying to colleges or like just someone, a room full of people who will encourage you when you have a bad day. So I think 
that a person would enjoy AVID because of that extra academic support, but also kind of that sense of family and how motivational that can be through difficult times. Basically, like I found my best friends in AVID and we actually like started to meet after school and like do our homework together or like do our applications together, or make our college portals together and kind of like boost each other up to make sure that we're on track with everything that we're doing, but we're also having a good time while we're doing it really helpful to have a bunch of people working together like for one common thing that you all have in common no matter what since going to high school everybody's different but we all have that one thing that brings us together. Overall we've just be all become closer so it's more of a fun environment as well as like we do work and stuff but we also have fun together. The philosophy is, is that it's an avid family and so the students are there to support each other, the teachers are there to support the students, I'm there to support the students, so um, it's kind of a, a nice smaller learning community. They're all very unique and they all have, you know, unique situations and unique lives and unique personalities, um, but again, they're all kind of in the middle academically usually and they just need a little extra bump, a little extra push to be super successful and they, and they usually are. <laughs>